Hey, y'all. Uh, this is Marvin Crazy Crawford coming at you. Just wanted to say to, well, I guess to everyone who's listening, that we are living in, I don't have to say strange times. In my 61 years, I can truly say I've never seen anything like this, nor have many of you. In fact, I was speaking with someone yesterday, and they said that, uh, they said, uh, I'm 71, and uh, I've never seen anything like this. And they mentioned someone else who they know and said he's 90 and he had never seen anything like this. So we definitely look at living some some really odd times. And I'm only saying this in an effort to uh, encourage or 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 empower, if you will, those of us who feel helpless in this situation. Very recently, and I don't mind saying this, I was talking to a friend of mine who uh, was it first started texting me about how bad the times were and, and how bad it is. And, and then she went on to tell me about a friend of hers who passed and and, uh, and that she was so glad that certain family members were not alive to see this. I can't say too much without giving away her story. But uh, I, uh, I, I called her and I spoke to her on the phone and and I was letting her know that pretty much we're all in the same situation, or I was sharing with her that we're all in the same situation, but that it, she had a unique perspective when she said about her family members not being alive to see this. And she lost two very, rather close members. And I said to her, I said, you know, for you to have made it by that or through that, because you never get over it. I lost a child, too, who would be 37 now, Marvin Jr., and uh, uh, for you to have gone through that, for you to have lost those members and you survived, in this time, in this day and age, with this pandemic going around, you have a very special message to share. You have something about getting over the rougher times that anyone can ever get over. You see, some of us, even though this is going on all around us, it has not directly affected us. It has not taken a family member. It has not done that kind of thing. But we've lost people just the same. And, and so I said with that sort of ability, I don't even know if you would call it a, a skill, or, you know, just the ability to hang on. I lost my mother uh, 38 years ago, and uh, I've never gotten over it, you know. But the very fact that I was able to somehow make it on and to be here today and be, some would argue, optimistic, something crazy, whatever. It says something. Not only does it say something about the ability to be able to, to, to make it through a rough time, but it also says that you have something that you can share with someone else who can't seem to make it. You see, while you and I may be upset, you and I may be losing focus a little bit, being, bouncing off the walls about being, uh, having to stay inside or being limited in our mobility, one of the things that we do definitely have to or should take into consideration that you and I are here and you and I have passed some of the most trying times in any of our lives. And it's, it is amazing when you look back at the, some of the losses, some of the things that we, we have gone through before arriving to this point in our lives now, that you and I have a message as they say, create a message out of your mess. We have a message to share. And we have something that we can do, that we can bring to someone else, that it doesn't take uh, a, a schooling for, it doesn't take managerial training, it doesn't take comedic ability, it doesn't take you to be an Einstein. In fact, it was Einstein who said, the mind that has brought me this far has created some problems this mind can't solve. So you and I are in our current situation, and I'm not talking about the pandemic, but we are in whatever other situation we're in as a result of us and the minds that we had. And we can't expect that same mindset to take us further. We have to got to advance it or, or, or upgrade it or whatever you might want to say. I, obviously, I'm no uh, <laughs> teacher, <laughs> but I can share this with you, that Last week, I was in a in a dollar store, Dollar General, whatever it was, Dollar Tree, whatever it was. Anyone, I'm good. <laughs> Save a dollar. And uh, 
as I was coming through the line and paying for my things, I said to the lady, I said, wow, I said, it's, you know, it's, it seems to be light in here now. It must get heavy for you sometime. And she said, yeah, it does. Light gets heavy, light gets heavy. And so I said, well, you know, people are really, must be really kind during this trying time. And what she said surprised me. She said, you would think, but no, no. She said, people are really mean. She said, three days last week, I went home crying. I could not help but my heart went out immediately. Who wants to see someone who's working, being taken advantage of or being abused or being whatever? And so I said to her, I said, well, listen, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm surprised hearing that, but I'm so sorry. And another lady who was standing in the, in the line chimed in and she said, yeah, I'm so sorry. We thank you. We're appreciative of you. And if anybody says anything to you, we can say what you can say. And of course, we said that as, 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 as you know, trying to cheer her up, but we meant it. And I'm saying all that to say that the lady almost was brought to tears again. She said, wow, wow, thank you so much. You don't know what it meant to us, to me. And of course I do. And you all do. So I'm simply saying to you that you have the ability to go and change somebody's life today. You have the ability to touch someone, touch a family, call a loved one, call, call a relative, whatever it is. This world needs you at this time. Marvin Crazy Crawford.